Hi everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery's remote team and welcome to the tour of my chicken coop. So I want to tell you a little bit about where our chicken coop is in the property. We're um, one of the highest elevations in our county and we run into a lot of extremes as far as weather goes. So we have very high winds, we live in the snow belt, if anybody knows what the snow belt is, oh, it's really scary. So um, we get extreme winters and really hot, very humid summers. So when we decided that we wanted to have chickens, um, there's a lot of things that we had to keep in mind um, as far as um, stability in the wind and how our chickens are gonna do in the winter. So what we have is we actually have two chicken coops. We have this chicken coop here. This is kind of their summer home. And if you look out that way where there's a lean-to over there, that is their winter home and we have like access to electricity over there so um we've kind of come up with a, a good plan with that so what i want to talk to you about though is this year um, we've had a lot of issues with predators i had the same setup last year and we had no problems whatsoever we had one time a raccoon visited um some of our fencing this year um i noticed that my chickens had stopped laying and i thought well that's really really strange and uh, we put up a game camera and we noticed that a full-grown coyote was visiting my chicken coop um, almost every night and was scratching and pawing at uh, this particular coop here and it caused my girls to just stop laying and so we had to come up with a way um, to protect our birds because um, not only were we having problems with them not laying Unfortunately, um, another predator, a raccoon, got two of my banties, and I was really bummed out about that. So, I wanna show you some of the changes that we made to our chicken coop. So first is, um, as I mentioned with the high winds, we wanted the lower profile chicken coops. So we have two prefab chicken coops that we have, and we reinforce them from the inside out. So there's plywood in there and holding it into place for us. We also made sure the seams were glued into place, and we have some um, on some of them, we have some bars on the corners to hold them as well. We also changed our feeding system from a traditional feeder to the PVC pipe feeders. Um, so this is their feeder and this is their water. We have two waterers and the one feeder. Um, and we noticed immediately that critters were not coming around anymore because there was no food waste um, in the bottom of our chicken coop. The other thing that we did is we got some of these amazing night guard um, solar lights here and they blink a red light at night uh, to mimic uh, uh, another predator. And um, I will tell you, the day we put this out, the next day we had no visitors whatsoever and we have had no visitors since. So I really highly suggest these. And when you get them, there's um, instructions for different um, levels to where to put it depending on your predators. So we put it low over here because the raccoons were visiting our feed and then you'll see over by our ducks, we put it high um, for the deer and the raccoon, or the, excuse me, the coyote. So we'll keep coming around. The other thing that we did is we have buried wire. We buried wire last year, but we double buried wire this year. We went about six, eight inches down and we buried some wire in there. And um, it's prevented anything from really digging down there. We also had some extra four by fours and some other um, garage sale finds that we've just kind of stuck around the outside to use as a deterrent. Um, and we also actually leave some grass around the outside. The chickens love it, and it, it kind of just deflects things from digging. Um, so we'll keep coming around. Um, we use really thick gauge uh, chicken wire. We had changed out to a really thick gauge chicken wire. Nothing bothers this wire now. Um, we have an access door in here so I can get into their run, but we screwed that so nothing can get inside of there. Um, we put the pallets up, again, additional things that predators uh, would deter predators from going in there. Um, we have this tray right here. This is their treat tray. So we want no food left in the chicken coop sitting on the floor or anything like that. So if anybody knows me, they know I love to spoil my chickens. And so when I give them their treats, they go into this pan and it goes inside here. And at the end of the day, that pan comes out. If there's food in there, we just dump it out. We don't want anything left behind um, for the predators. And we'll keep coming around. This is another one of our PVC pipe waterers. Absolutely love them. Over here, where our, uh, we have our egg, um, our nests. We have six nests. And anywhere that there was extra locks 
or anything like that, we've added D-rings um, and we've also added extra locks as well. Um, so um, raccoons have very dexterous hands. Um, so we made sure that we had ways to make sure that the raccoons and other predators cannot get to the eggs um, or anything like that. We put up some of this amazing um, night guard tape and I was kind of worried about it with the wind that we have here, um, that they, they were going to get blown away. Um, but they work wonderfully. We have seen no hawks by our chicken coop. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you keep coming this way, um, just some more examples of our, our run here. Um, our birds are supervised free range. Um, because of all the predators that we've had this year, we let them out um, when one of us, either my husband or I, is around. And then um, at the end of the day, usually we, we lock them up for the night. They are always locked up for the night. They're never left out um, overnight. And this is my rake here that I use to scoop out the hoop in the morning and it keeps their hoop nice and warm or nice and clean for them. Um, I also really like Diatomaceous earth and uh, a product called Coop Refresher keeps this chicken coop nice and clean and not smelly at all. All right, and then if we look on over here, these are our ducks. And uh, the idea with the duck pen was that they were going to live in here for a little while and then migrate to living on the pond. Um, there's two reasons they're not over there yet. Number one, the predators, and number two, they're afraid of the pond right now. So. They live in here, and these are our spoiled ducks that we have. Um, there's another example of um, my night guard light that's over here. The funny thing is, is that nothing bothers my ducks. Nothing has come anywhere near there. We have a game camera up the, on them at all times. So I don't know if it's their size or they make a lot of noise, but uh, they've been really lucky as far as predators go. Um, I know, I know. But I just want to show you another example of our fencing here. Since we built this pen for the ducks, um, we used regular fencing and then double layer as far as the chicken wire goes um, to prevent things from coming into our chicken coop. So hopefully I've given you some ideas um, burying that wire. The night guard products work fantastically. Uh, a game camera, we have a game camera set up over there that's on all the time. Um, this, all these little things, extra locks to keep our chickens nice and safe. Um, during the summertime. If you have any questions, make sure to visit us at MeyerHatchery.com. Oh, grab your cameras. If you love taking pictures, we are looking for a cover for our new catalog. Take some pictures, go over to MeyerHatchery.com, click on the big photo contest banner, and it'll give you all the instructions on how to enter. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have some fantastic new uh, YouTube series that are going to be coming out. Um, and happy chickening. I hope you've enjoyed our chicken goop.